Hi everyone, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this fireside chat on digital transformation strategies for businesses and the public sector. I'm your host, Miza, and joining me today is Tajul, a digital transformation expert. Let's dive into the world of digital transformation and uncover some practical insights. Welcome, Tajul. And for my first question, what are some key digital transformation strategies that businesses can adopt to stay competitive in today's fast-paced digital landscape? Over to you. Thank you, Miza. Uh, it's great to be here. Um, I think, first of all, to stay competitive, competitive businesses has to start embracing customer centricity, right? So this basically involves leveraging digital technologies uh, to gain deeper uh, understanding of their customer needs and preferences. Uh, one practical approach that we usually see is the implementation of uh, customer relationship management systems, CRM systems. Uh, this basically enables the businesses to capture and analyze customer data, personalize interactions, and deliver tailored experiences. Another strategy is process automation. Um, companies nowadays utilize robotic process automation, RPA, or workflow, workflow management systems to streamline operations, um, reduce manual efforts, and uh, enhance effic efficiency, basically. So lastly, um, I think organizations can also adopt uh, agile methodologies to drive uh, innovation uh, and respond quickly mm -hmm. to market changes, allowing them to deliver products and services faster than their competitors. Now, moving on to my second question, how can the public sector effectively implement digital transformation strategies to enhance citizen services and operational efficiency? That, that's a good question, Miza. Uh, I think in public sector, it's no different than the private sector, whereas in private sector, it's more of customer centricity, whereas in public sector, it's more of citizen centricity, right? So it basically, it involves creating user-friendly platforms, uh, online platforms for citizens to access various services, uh, such as applying for licenses, permits, paying taxes, or, or just merely accessing information. Uh, I think, for example, what we have seen is that implementation of a citizen portal with a single sign-on system can simplify interactions and improve service delivery greatly. Um, another strategy that we, we often see of late is the uh, data-driven decision-making. So by harnessing big data and analytics, governments can gain valuable insights and make informed uh, policy decisions optimize resource allocation, and improve operational efficiency. So additionally, public and private uh, partnerships can also be leveraged to collaborate on digital initiatives if they are on the same platform. So combining expertise from public sector with the innovation and the agility of private companies. Now for the third question, what are the challenges organizations face when implementing digital transformation strategies and how can they overcome them? Uh, another good question, Ms. Uh, I think digital transformation doesn't come, does come with its own uh, challenges. Uh, one common challenge that we usually see is the cultural resistance to change. Right? So to overcome this, uh, organizations need to foster digital first culture through strong leadership, effective communication, and training programs that empowers uh, their organizations with new technologies. Uh, another challenge that we see is ensuring data security, security and uh, privacy. Um, organizations should seriously look into a more robust cyber security measures and adhere to data protection regulations to build trust with customers and all stakeholders, right? Um, and I think the other thing is organizations may also face integration challenges when bringing in new systems into their existing environments. So overcoming all this requires a very well-defined digital strategy uh, and agile uh, project management with the right technology, with the right talent and the partners to ensure seamless integration. That's a valuable one, especially on the challenges that these companies usually face. 
Now, for the fourth question, can you provide some practical examples of successful digital transformation initiatives in both the public and private sectors? Um, right. Yeah. So I think in public, uh, private sector, I can recall there's one example where by Amazon, uh, digital transformation journey, they revolutionized the retail industry by embracing, uh, e-commerce and data analytics. Uh, and AI-driven uh, personalization, the, the, their digital strategy basically focused on enhancing customer experience, optimizing supply chain management, and leveraging technology to drive innovation. Whereas in public sector, we see in uh, Estonia, uh, whereby they transform their government services. Now, moving on to the very last question from, from my side is, what is your outlook on the future of digital transformation and what advice do you have for organizations embarking on this journey? I think digital uh, uh, transformation uh, for most organizations to stay competitive in the current uh, environment um, and, you know, um, most organization should have their digital first uh, priorities. They should be more data driven in terms of uh, this is in light of the current uh, turbulent market that we are we are facing. So I think uh, it's it's something that is uh, everyone should embrace. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Tajil, for sharing your perspective mm -hmm. and knowledge on this topic itself. And especially on the fact that you did um, share on digital transformation strategies and the examples that you shared are practical ones and approaches that have given us a deeper understanding on how businesses and the public sector can leverage digital technologies to stay competitive, enhance citizen services and drive operational efficiency. Your vision for the future of digital transformation is very inspiring and your advice is invaluable for organizations embarking on this transformative journey. Thank you for your time and thank you everyone for joining us.